So yeah, uh, my name is Ivan. I'm a computer scientist, and uh, I have been like studying in Bologna, Italy. And right after that, I have started working with uh, Silvio Peroni and David Shelton on Open Citations, which is uh, an organization, and I will explain later what they do or what they work on. And r right now, I'm a PhD student, but still an active member on Open Citation organization. So um, to start, we will. I would like to 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 give a definition on what we are, uh, what we call a citation. When we when we say a citation, we would like to to um, to incorporate all these components. So we have a document A cites document B, and this is all for us a citation. So um, this um, this component could integrate inside it all the citation data needed. So we would like, first of all, to represent what is this conceptual link between document A and document D, document B. And then we would like to have some metadata that uh, could define the uh, citing entity and the cited entity. So these are the information needed to inside um, a cita in the citation data to define that citation. So um, when we talk about an open citation, there are some uh, principles that we would like to, to um, that are needed to, to, to define that as an open citation. So going on the citation dat data, there are three important uh, points that um, we should focus on. So um, the citation data should be structured, separated, and open. I will explain those in the next slide, but structured so in, it, is, um, um, it, um, it should be represented in a format which is machine readable, separated so I, I can access one citation or another without going to see all the, um, the citation or the reference list. And open, so should uh, not refer to the um, should not have to uh, the rights of the um, uh, of the holding one. So it's, uh, common the common creative rights. So uh, on um, on that we should also have the ability to identify the citing and the cited entities, and to make them available available so we can. Um, or request their data and their metadata. So in this slide, it's just like um, an overview of what I've, uh, I've just said. So we have a, a structured format, a JSON format for the citation data. Um, we have the cited and the cited entities identifiable through the DOIs. Uh, they are available, so we can retrieve their data, for example, via HTTP uh, protocols. They are separated. If we think, for example, of Crossref, we have the APIs which we can use to get one uh, specific entity, and they are open. So we have no claims for ownership for individuals uh, for that, those metadata. On the left side, you can see the negative things so we have the negative what is right now uh, okay so open citations open citation it is a scholar infrastructure organization uh, it is one of the main founders of the i4oc so the initiative for making citation open and um, to encourage publisher to to make these citations open going on the definition that i have told told before so um, it works basically on the advocacy of the open citations and to, to promote that and to publish the open citation data and the, um, the repositories in RDF formats. So RDF is a format used to, um, to, to define um, this relation entities for model. Uh, so through open citation we would like to provide uh, four important things uh, the data models the data sets software and online services the data models are based on the open citations data model uh, which is called OCDM so the, uh, uh, 
Uh, and we have the data sets, which are mainly now, um, separate, um, which are mainly two different data sets. So we have the open citation corpus and we have the citation indexes. The software, all the software that Open Citation develop and um, a, and all the code is open, so you can go and see it on GitHub. And some online services, some uh, dumps of the data, REST APIs, the Sparkle endpoint editor, which is the language used to query the data in RDF, and some interfaces. So. When we think about the data sets, as I said, we have the corpus and the indexes. The corpus will contain uh, contain now uh, 14 million citation links. And we have the, these links from uh, taken from over 7.5, uh, I, I mean, this citation goes to 7.5 million cited resources. Then we have the indexes. So the indexes is the, is the major part of open citations. The um, uh, Koki, which I'm presenting today, is the main part of the open citation indexes. Here we are talking about 445 million citations uh, taken from 46 million bibliographic entities, which are all taken from the Crossref uh, repositories. So. Uh, through this uh, presentation, I will go through these steps. First of all, what is Koki? Koki is the Open Citation Index of Crossref Open DOI to DOI citations. DOI to DOI citations so are the resources that are inside Crossref, which are identified with DOIs. So uh, this uh, data set is the first data set and the main data set of the Open Citation Indexes. And these, uh, the data inside it uh, are all citations, citations data, which are exposed as first class data entities, as uh, I have defined them before. So uh, I will go through some definitions first, then I will say why we have thought of this, why we have built this, um, the data, how the data are represented inside it, what does it contain? with numbers and quantitative uh, statistics, how could it be used, and uh, if it's really used, who, ha who is really using this data? So, some prior definitions. A first class data entities, we mean, as I said before, a citation as a whole. So, as a big block, which is the citing article, and the cited article, and the citation. So we are taking this as a whole block, as a citation data. And then we should identify also the citation. So we are using something called uh, OC, the Open Citation Identifier, which is basically based as this. So we have OC, number, and number. The, um, the number will start with a prefix that identifies the resource of such citation. So for instance, if we are going to Wikidata, we would like to, to do a prefix like 010, and then we will put the identifier used in Wikidata, the QID used in, in, in uh, Wikidata. If we go for Crossref, since we are doing DOI to DOI citations, we will put a prefix of 020, and then we will um, encode the die according to a lookup index which have uh, which we have built inside the open citation elaboration of that so uh, why we have built this okay uh, it is maybe the most uh, like uh, simple thing to say but it is the citation have really significant value so we have like four important impacts we have topological sociological and quantitatively and financially reasons to do that so um, if we think topologically we can like um, elaborate and and construct citing and uh, citing cited graphs and look at this, how they evolve over the time. If we think sociologically, we can um, identify the behavior of the researchers and to identify, for instance, also elite, elitist uh, access paths. Quantitatively, if we think about uh, bibliometric studies or stuff like this, we can, for instance, go for the impact evaluation of the citations. 
financially citations are getting uh, more and more important for researchers and they are getting a high value f for them so um, when we are using when when we are integrating this inside open citations and using the technologies uh, um, which are represented th through rdf and the sem semantic web technologies we are putting this data into another level so we would like to to make uh, this data um, more accessible in a more complex way we can reconstruct a more complex query and uh, get more deepen into this data so how the data are represented we are using the ocdm uh, model of open citation used uh, in uh, open citations organization so uh, we are using that to encode the scholarly bibliographic data as rdf and we are using the spar ontologies to do that I will not go deep into these technical things, but the ontologies are used to 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 define what are the logical um, the logical definitions and the logical uh, meanings of the links between entities. So, uh, on the on your right, you can see a small like um, a small figure of the part of the OCDM model used to identify a citation. Uh, this OCDM mo model will be also um, uh, updated and a new version will be released soon, I think in some weeks. So how the data are represented? What are the citation characteristics inside the data set? We have the citing entity, the cited entity, which is which for, uh, for Koki are represented through the DOIs. Then we have the citation creation data. The creation data is the data when the citation was created. So a citation uh, is created once um, the, um, the article is published or the document is published. So that's the time for us when a citation is created. Then we have the citation time span. So we have the delta between um, when the document was created and what, uh, which kind of other document is he cited? So uh, the difference between these two, two times are the citation time span. And then we have the type. The type is our, uh, our different classification that we are giving to a citation. So we can recognize, we can say that a citation, for instance, could be a journal self-citation. What we mean by that, we mean that um, a citation from an article in a journal is citing another article from the same journal. When we say also author self-citation, we are telling that this article made by an author is citing another article which is also an author in it. So these are two types of classification that we are doing and we are um, associating to the type of the citation. What does it contain? So uh, the, the last version uh, in the uh, repository of open citations, it's on November, was released on November uh, 2018. And uh, it contains, as I said, 445 uh, almost million citations. And these are the, um, the, the main publishers and the outgoing citations and the incoming citations taken from Crossref. So as we can see, for instance, Springer have almost 80 million outgoing citations and 52 incoming citations and all the other publishers. So how could we use these data? We have different uh, different uh, services, as I said before. The first and main one, I think, which is the easiest also, is the REST API service. So we can retrieve uh, citations and references given in a DOI. We can retrieve a citation data for a citation by giving the ID of such citation. Or we can retrieve the whole metadata of a specific DOI or more DOIs. Uh, 
So here we have a usage example, for instance, and uh, while giving a DOI, we can retrieve a list of citations. We can also specify which is the format to, to retrieve. In this, in this example, I've shown like the, the JSON format, but we can also retrieve in CSV and yeah. So we have also uh, deposit some data dumps. So we have the, the provenance and the data uh, of, um, of Koki inside Figshare. So we have um, we have uh, them in CSV and in another format called in triple used for the RDF representation, and then we have the whole triple store in Open Citation inside Archive also. Uh, otherwise, we have also the interfaces, which are much mm, maybe the easiest way to 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 query the data. So they are friendly, very friendly, um, user friendly. So there are some kind of like the way you search in Google. So you can search and uh, browse some data and maybe also filter the data that are shown. And the final one, which I think is the one that maybe only uh, Sparkle, um, Sparkle developers and people that are expert in that can use, is an editor to use that using Sparkle. So this is just to show how much had have been used this data. So here I show a quantitative analysis of the, um, the number of uh, uh, of queries made through the APIs. So you can see that, for instance, on June it was used a lot, and um, then we have also a lot of downloads, like almost 680 downloads uh, of the CSV data dump from Figshare, and yeah, 128 for the Intriple. Then we have also the community uptake. So we have some people and software that have used this data. So we have, for instance, Voss Viewer from the CWTS uh, Center in Leiden, which has used Koki and integrated Koki inside the Voss Viewer uh, software. Zotero have also included Koki inside it as an add-on. We have also others like Citation Zico, OCI Graphy, Sitecorp. I'm not deepening those, but they're all using or um, adding the Koki data as add-ons in their softwares. And there are also some studies with, which have based their studies on the uh, Koki dataset. So thanks a lot if you have any question. <coughs> Thank you, Ivan, and for keeping time so well. Um, Jen's getting the mic, and then we have a speaker right here near you, Jen, in the middle. Um, it's a nice uh, initiative, even we are using your data. Uh, my question is, um, what is the frequency of uh, update? Okay, so right now, the last update, as I've, I've uh, shown previously, it's on November 2018. But we are planning, really, like in weeks, to, to, to get a new release of Koki. So it will be like in weeks. And we are planning then to, to make much more, um, uh, much more persistent sessions of updates. Okay. For that, yeah. My second question is, which uh, what is the data source? You directly used to take data from only Crossref? Yes. Or you, uh, the publisher themselves, they can deposit the data to you. Which way you used? Uh, that's that's another way. So when when I said like the indexes, the open citation indexes, which are the the second one. So Koki is the main one, okay. But the second one, which I've not introduced here is called Crocky, which is the, yeah, the, the names are very, <laughs> so, um, which is the one that uh, are based on a crowdsource okay. strategy. I have not shown that here, but we, we are using that too. And Koki, no, was, is based on Crossref. In Crossref, and it's, um, for those of you who knows how the data are in Crossref, you have like open, limited, and uh, closed. On the Koki uh, dataset, we have the open and the limited. Okay. 
actually we have the um, uh, IEEE data which are now closed so when we downloaded the dump first they were open <laughs> okay then uh, third question is how do we consider the data which is not having DOI sorry no how do you consider the data okay. even some of the uh, article they used to cite in the national level journal or uh, local level journal but okay. they don't have any DOI well actually we based Koki only on DOIs because we could not like disambic yeah. disambiguation the the resources we will find a way to do that also I think we are that's the next the next step thank you Hi, uh, thanks for a nice speech. Um, oh, thanks. Uh, I would like to know about the current status for Elsevier. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so if you look at this, here. Yeah, I saw that, and uh, there is no uh, progression to uh, report on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not the, the maybe the correct person mm -hmm. to ask that for, because I'm not in the political, this is more a political issue. Yeah. And um, yeah, we have, as you see, a very big difference between what is incoming for Elsevier and what is outgoing. So the outgoing are those entities that are in Crossref and which deposit also the reference list. So we have 2 million, <laughs> 800, and yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I cannot even have a, a solution, a quick solution okay. to that. I understand that. <laughs> yeah. so what else? About yeah, of course. Uh, the, the data sets all based on um, uh, Crossref. Are there any plans to include data site yeah. DOIs yeah. in the future? Yeah. Yeah, we are planning to include also, for instance, the iSight thing that have been published recently. And uh, <laughs> I can see <laughs> some. <laughs> okay. So the iSight, which are the PubMed um, data set, which will be open. They are open, and we have. Mm, we have already like downloaded the last dumps they made so we are planning to do that the data site we have Wikidata. we have a lot of data w which can be incorporated using the the model that we have used for the citations the citation data okay there's a question way over there okay. thank you very much for the talk um, when you're classifying a citation as a self-citation, yeah. are you looking at are any of the authors in, in the cited article matching any of the authors in the citing article? Yeah. How, do you, how do you handle cases where you might have the same surname or even the same combination of initials okay. and surname? That's, another, that's a good question. What we are using are the or ORCID IDs. Okay. So, you, you so as for the DOIs, we are just making, uh, taking those that are identified by ORCIDs. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I should have mentioned that, but this. Okay, so I think people are starting to move rooms and uh, we had a good uh, chance for question period. So I'm sure you can find Ivan in the coffee breaks and I'm sure he has a lifetime of research ahead of him as an information scientist. So thank you thank again, you. Ivan. Thanks.